Callie Trevor says, where's the balance of playing players during the preseason, not playing them to avoid injuries? This is catch-22. They play and get hurt. They don't play, and now they aren't in football shape. Yeah, man. I mean, if it was simple, Kyle would have figured it out by now. But I just feel like other teams do. Jim Harbaugh didn't have this problem. I mean, good head coaches probably have a better way of preparing football players' bodies for the violence of the game than what Kyle Shanahan has demonstrated so far. Yeah, he just needs to study the other teams. If 49ers are constantly have a pattern of being injured all the time, so look at the teams that don't have that pattern and see yeah. what they're doing and adjust. You know. Simple as that. That's what – copycat league, right? Devin yeah. Smith says offense is outdated. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Concur. Correct. Matthew Sanders says winter is coming. Ned Stark. Turnovers are coming. Jimmy G. He is what he always is, and sometimes he gets picked. I mean, the thing about Jimmy, I think what his defender says, you know, who doesn't get intercepted? True. The thing is, if you're going to live with those, like bad decisions and stuff like that, um, usually other quarterbacks give you big plays and stuff. Like Brett Favre used to do that. This guy is, he doesn't. It's just screen, 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 pick. Mm -hmm. And the interception, the, the touchdowns are screens. That, that, that touchdown to Ayuk, the, fir the first one, man, that was a beautiful play. Well, yeah. Yeah. Up, fellas, I'm sad. Well, you know, it's funny that touchdown to Ayuk, I think, it was a zig route on the, the second yeah. one. He, that was the same one he was open in, yeah. in the previous week. And he's like, Rams, yeah. Rams. Yeah. yeah. We're going to call this again, Jimmy. We, he's going to be wide open. <laughs> Kyle calls games with less imagination than Jimmy Ware or Greg Roman did. He's starting to. Flav says if those two catches are made, Jimmy Garoppolo has 75% completion percentage, 30 yards, two TDs, and there was no one in the end zone in the first interception. Should he have thrown to nobody? You know why there was no one in the end zone in the first interception? Because Kyle knows Jimmy can't throw the ball there. So why even put someone there? I don't I don't they should have just thrown a screen. What the hell? He really needed to throw that 30-yard pass into triple coverage. I had no chance, and it almost was a pick six. That was dumb. It was a dumb call. It was a dumb throw. Throw it away. It was triple coverage. What are you doing? You saw yeah. I, I don't know. That's what I saw. I, I want to see the all 22 on that and see who else was open when he threw that one to Devo. But uh, I think your math is wrong there, Flav. He's at 70% completion percentage for the game. So two two additional catches isn't going to put him at 75. Now, he wasn't horrible uh, in his completion percentage, but it's not going to be 75. I don't know, man. I, 302 CDs. Dude, they were going against one of the worst pass defenses in the league. They lost their best cornerback, and he put up zero points in the second half, and his quarterback rating was 70 in the fourth quarter. And they dro Rashad Evans dropped a pick. If you want to play the what-if game, the drops and stuff. That's the thing. You could count drops. Be like, yeah, this and that. Okay, what about the dropped interceptions? What about that? You got to count both. What about the fumble that Jimmy Garoppolo had that, well, I mean, it got recovered by the Niners, but the play didn't count. Yeah. If we're I, even talking about the throw to Ike that didn't count, he put the ball on the ground and was fortunate that two things happened that took it away. And I, Guys like Flav, man, like you make me argue against Jimmy Garoppolo way more than I want to. That's right. right. He's yeah. not – He's. we know who Jimmy Garoppolo is. It's when you yeah. guys try to make him seem better than he is that we yeah. have to have to talk about. We don't want to talk about Jimmy. We're talking about Kyle. Jimmy's Jimmy. He had a decent game. Yeah. Renzo says, is, is Kyle the type of coach that does enough to keep his job? Um, we'll see. There's a lot of season left. He was two and he was three and he was two and four last year. He was three and five last year. He could turn it around. I mean, he does have talent. We're all saying like you're underperforming, Kyle. Get it together. He did get it together last year until he failed in the, in the fourth quarter of the NFC Championship game. So we'll have to see. Yeah, yeah. I think as bad as uh everything looks, and it looks bad. Um, honestly, if the 49ers can squeeze into the playoffs and get hot, everyone's gonna forget about all this stuff. So I mean, that's the sure. one thing. We could see. And they still – I mean, the, the, who's going to win this division? I think the Niners will. Someone could win this division with nine wins. Mm -hmm. Jason Lutz says, O needs overhaul, trade Kyle Shanahan, promote D'Amico uh, – promote DS? DR. And move on. Yeah. I mean, Robert Sala – hey, the, the better Robert Sala does in New York, maybe maybe Jed starts to get bold. Hey, if Robert Sala's doing well, maybe D'Amico would do well. Problem is – yeah. Well, I mean, if D'Amico becomes a head coach, he's just going to keep the entire staff, right? Mm -hmm. They can probably promote like Bobby Slowick or someone, um, although some guys are going to go with Kyle to wherever Kyle goes next. So you'd have to know who D'Amico's offensive guy would be, although we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're getting ahead of ourselves. It's week seven. Yeah. Kyle's an early round talent evaluator. Thumbs down. Yes. Pretty much. Flav says the biggest problem with this team style is it's very physical, leading to numerous injuries, but only effective if we're healthy. Well, they're never healthy, so how, is, how can it be effective? Kyle, Kyle's offense is like, when it's healthy and the players have been in the system for two years, it's great. 
But it's like, well, your players are never healthy, and football players, like, their careers don't last that long, so maybe you should get an offense that can work, you know, under non-ideal situations with younger players. I'm just saying. The thought. C. Turley says, it's starting to look like your dad was right, Grant. Kyle just may be a high-level loser. This Sunday, they at least need to be competitive. Yeah. I'm afraid that Kyle's going to push a bunch of players to play in this game because he needs this win when it's like, does Nick Bosa really need to play this week? I mean, what if he gets hurt again in week seven and then misses the rest of the year? Then the season's over. Yeah. It's not a must-win game, even though I it was, feels like I was telling everyone to rest Nick Bosa, and they're like, oh, well, you're underestimating Atlanta. I, no, I'm not. I, I wasn't underestimating Atlanta. I'm not, you know, I don't even, if he's not healthy, don't play him against the Chiefs either. It's not right. about the Chiefs. It's about the playoffs. You yeah. Know? That's really what it's about. Yeah. And also, it's about the player. You know, it's yeah. his career. He, it could be, it could turn into something worse. And if you're a player friendly team, Stuntman says, hey, Grant, they need to stop slapping all that Kodak on the boom box and come out to some Mac Dre or some Jacka. This is the yay area, not no Florida. Correct. I agree. Correct. I agree. But there's no one on the, on the, team from the Bay who's like a leader who can actually like enforce that rule, but it should be a rule. Yeah. They play nothing but Atlanta rap all day at practice. And I'm like, can we have like a little like regionality here guys? Like, <laughs> fire the OC says Devin Smith. Oh man. That's a, that's a real dig at Kyle Shanahan right there. Just call him the OC. <laughs> Thomas says, uh, coming to the game this week from AZ. I've been looking forward to it for a while. I don't want to waste my money uh, for their offense to score seven points. Well, they're going to have to score a lot of points this week going against the Chiefs. Uh, that's I don't know if we're going to get started on that one, but the outlook is not good. Rob Watson says, Kyle saw Trey Lance and started drawing up plays in the plane, but they were triple options and counter bash, not passes. He's a buffoon. Fire him. A buffoon. A buffoon. Kyle, these are your fans. Why are you not saying ERM every second word? Erm. Erm. Is that how Kyle talks? Erm. Um. Um. Anthony Adams says, how are we a run first offense allowing a mediocre quarterback to throw uh, 41 times? The term genius should be reserved for innovators. Our offense is constipated. I really haven't seen the innovation this year. It uh, used to be innovative, Phil. Yeah. Where did the jet sweeps go? You can't run it. And why do you have all these gadget players? They signed Ray McLeod to, to just return punts? Oh, and be a deep threat. What? Yeah. Where are all the little gadget plays for Ray Ray? I right. thought I'd see Ray Ray catching passes out of the backfield at one point, too. Uh, you know, I didn't see that yet either. <laughs> no, deep. Uh, him and Jawan Jennings are the deep threats. And Tevin Coleman. Agree with Grant. Need more than one way to win, but not because another team can stop it, because injuries can stop it. Yeah, a lot of things can stop it. Kyle never considers injuries every year. And I didn't consider injuries when I picked the Niners to win the Super Bowl this year. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah, because they're going to be healthy for the first time this year. Why? Kyle, Kyle Shady is the head coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to take care of itself, which is what Kyle thinks. And I feed. You see what I'm saying? We all kind of get into the habit of thinking like Kyle. Mm -hmm. Got to stop that. Tobin says Kyle's fourth quarter drive management yesterday was downright amateur hour. No urgency. Penalties. Third and fourth. Uh, third and fourth play calls just terrible. Yeah, I mean, the the, the snap and what the hell is a snap infraction? Have you ever seen a snap infraction in an NFL game? No, no. And uh, his game management was awful. Like if you're a team like the 49ers where you're known for not putting up points. You need to be twice as urgent as everybody else because you're going to need twice as many possessions to actually score. So they should have started speeding up the pace in the third quarter. He said, we asked him after the game, why didn't you go into hurry up mode in the, in the, on that drive? And he was like, well, we knew we were going to get the ball twice and we had to score twice. So we just wanted to, it's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, like sometimes you want to argue with a guy at a press conference, but it's like it's not my job to argue with you. It's it's you know yeah. your job to say something that makes sense, and you didn't. So yeah, great. And that's on you said that on national television. That's cool. Yeah. Um, he has no great explanations for for any of this. He has nothing to say right now. See, yeah. Turley says, Grant, you have some Lombardi stands in this community complaining about you. You may have to start using spreadsheets to make these stands happy. I was never a spreadsheet guy. You a spreadsheet guy. You may have to use spreadsheets to make these stand. Oh, I see. I see what I see. What you I get it. I got. It. I'm putting it together. I got to do spreadsheets at work constantly. Yeah. So, yeah. One of the nice things about what I do is I don't have to do spreadsheets as a sports writer. I like that. Oh, but <laughs> some people use them. Why can't he bring back plays when he when he was at ATL? What is this offense? He didn't have this whole "I got to be the most physical team in the league" thing when he was 
in Atlanta? Is he? Is it because he like is trying to put together a complimentary football team? I have this great defense, so I have to. I don't who, know. Man. Who was the head coach when he was there? Was it Snyder? Who is it? The head coach uh, Quinn. So maybe maybe Quinn was putting, you know, kind of steering steering maybe, it a little bit in maybe. Atlanta. Maybe it's also was- possible that he, you know, Kyle lost that Super Bowl because he couldn't run the ball in the second half. And ever since then, he's been like on this mission to prove that he's like the greatest run game guy ever. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's a little bit of like a Shakespearean tragedy kind of thing. Like, <laughs> like, you don't need to prove that to anyone anymore, dude. Like just <laughs> it was, bring back the Atlanta offense. We like that. That's what you got. That's what got yeah. you hired. Yeah. Chris Bass says, as a Falcons fan, this made me so happy. Shanahan isn't our problem anymore. He was awful for you guys yesterday. Eight minutes, zero point drive. We play hard. That's so true, man. Eight minute zero point drive was living end. And you, I just couldn't help but notice how well coached the Falcons are. Like, aren't like that they have and they, who the hell is Arthur Smith? Generic name, generic face, seems to be a good coach. And people always say, like, hey, you know, if the Niners move on from Kyle Shanahan, they'll, be, they'll have to go back to a guy like Jim Tom Sula. There's a lot of good coaches out there that people don't even know. Media people don't know. Yes. I mean, it's All these no-name guys are coming in and have yeah. these explosive offense. I mean, look at the Lions. They're like third in, in points scored. I mean, they're Nick Sirianni in, in Philly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they just need to abandon these. I don't know. I feel like the NFL, college, all of that, they, they're they're too caught up on names, and they just stick with these Ed guys. York too. He's yeah. like, with the exception of Jim Tom Sula, he's only really hired name. Jim Harbaugh was a name. Um, Shanahan, Chip Kelly. Like he keeps getting – well, Jim Harbaugh was a good hire. But the other ones are guys who were like, well, Chip Kelly was – he would already been exposed. And, mm-hmm. frankly, Kyle got exposed in the Super Bowl. He got exposed, like, right before he got hired or after. I don't know how yeah. the timeline there. But, yeah. Get someone yeah who, it's time to just try some new some, – somebody new, you know. Somebody new. Um, with those completions, Jimmy would have been 31 of 41. It's okay, math is hard, bro. My bad, dude. That was all in the head. You're right, Flav. Damn. Cost him five bucks, though. So. <laughs> Thanks for telling me <laughs> Thanks, Blake. Replace Kyle with Brady as a player OC win-win. Dude, Brady's looking pretty sus right now, too, dude. Taking days off and going to parties and then coming back and yelling at his teammates. Like, dude, shut up. Yeah. Where were you on Friday? I got a feeling Brady's going to show up in the playoffs. Just, you know, he's kind of just on cruise control, kind of like the, the, you know, NBA players during the regular season, just waiting for the playoffs, you know. Yeah. Stunna two two times says running back from yesterday was dragging our defense. LOL. Well, yeah, I mean the the Niners are they have no depth on defense anymore, and the other team played a really physical, tiring style of offense. I mean that was going to happen, but I thought they only gave up four point two yards per carry. Could have been worse. Yeah. I thought they held their own. Yeah, I didn't think that uh, the Forty Nine ers defense didn't look the same, but they weren't bad. I mean they only allowed twenty one points. I mean if you twenty one points, that's not bad. So you know. What's bad is scoring 14 points and also giving seven to the other team with that fumble. (laughs) It was a net seven for the offense yesterday. That was really bad. That is bad. Josh Wyatt says, Kyle and Jimmy Garoppolo don't get enough credit. With the game on the line, they orchestrated a 16-play, 80-yard drive that took up eight minutes and sealed the game. That's true, man. I mean, that was so nice of them to do that for the Falcons. Like, the Falcons are like, how are we going to win this game? You know, we're not that good. We were probably going to get exposed. And Kyle and Jimmy were like, no, 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 we we got this. We're experienced. (laughs) It really, it really, his game plan looked like he was up almost until like maybe the last yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Someone tapped him on the shoulder. like, dude, we're losing by 14. He's like, where? Yeah, we have 14. They pointed at the score. Oh, because oh, oh, I don't coach for Atlanta anymore. Because I, 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 I used to be on this team. You, know, you can see it's honest mistake. I just wish they would use Brandon Ayuk more. Did you see what he did last game? I know in my heart he could do that all the time. Imagine Brandon Ayuk like in uh, Buffalo. Imagine Brandon Ayuk in Buffalo or Kansas City or Green yeah. Bay. Yeah, You know what I mean? It, yeah. It'd be nice. And I was happy to see. I predicted that the 49ers were – you know what's funny? If you're another team, you can almost predict what Kyle Shanahan is going to do the next week. And I, I predicted that Ayuk would have the most touches. And you could just tell by the way he was talking about him yeah. during the week. Right. Right. Going, you're I justifying you. the game plan that you've already built, but we haven't shown us yet. But you're practicing yeah. right now. Yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah. BP says, why is it always need uh, run more? But why is it always need run more? But Kyle Shanahan never says pass game needs to improve. He was brought up to improve. He was brought to improve the pass game, and it's still mediocre in year six. Yeah, man, can we please get a coach on the Niners who actually knows what to do with the pass game? 
Because as good as Harbaugh was, he didn't know what to do with the pass game. And Chip Kelly did know. And Shanahan forgot or something. I don't know. This it, Stop with the running the ball in 2020. You've got to be balanced. But no team is going to be like physicaling themselves. That sounded out physicaling teams to Super Bowls anymore. I, yeah. That was weird. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to have old school football right there. You got to switch it up. Give it the time. Michael Young, Michael Young says neither drop pass was on fourth down. Jimmy G still could have made up for it. Yeah, man. You had third and one at the 18, second and one at the 18, third and one at the 18, fourth and one at the 18. Dude, make a freaking play. Three chances to get one yard and keep the game going. And you overthrew Kittle and then, okay, you hand it off to Coleman. That was the dumbest play call of the game. Third and one, you give the ball to Coleman outside. Nice. You know why? Because no one's going to expect that. Because it's such a dumb play call. Maybe that's what Kyle thinks. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's a dumb play call for sure. But they never expect it. So it might work. Right. Dumb enough to work. No. (laughs) 